B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. On February 22, 2024, realestate.com.kh hosted a 2024 property market seminar at the J Tower 3 showroom in Phnom Penh to share insights into current market trends, hidden opportunities, and potential challenges the real estate sector faces in Cambodia. The seminar featured presentations by the CEO and country head of Maybank, Sapon Rat, who discussed real estate trends from the perspective of the banking sector, and the head of realestate.com.kh, Simon Griffiths, who shared findings from a study conducted by the real estate platform analyzing data of over 500 property sales. Tonight we're um, providing an analysis of our data of over 500 uh, property sales, uh, predominantly condo sales that we've generated over the last two years. Uh, totaling over $55 million uh, in property value. So, of course, it's no secret um, that we're in a down market at the moment, but I think this proves, like in any market, that there are opportunities. Cambodian financial service industry have, have, have significantly grown in the past uh, almost uh, uh, probably close to 30 years. Um, and last year was the first time that, uh, uh, you know, because of the pandemics and the post-pandemic impacts, it is uh, the slowest growth we ever experienced. Right? Um, the uh, real estate itself, actually, comparing to 2022, it was a gr good growth at 16%. Uh, uh, actually, this data surprised me a little bit. Uh, people uh, complaining about the uh, issue challenging the real estate, but uh, I'm looking forward to even digest the detail of what drove that growth as well in uh, last year. It's, it's a bit of a painful period of adjustment where new products, uh, new condominiums are still coming on the market, but the situation has changed. And it's changed slowly and without a sudden jolt. It, it's, we were expecting, okay, things to get back to normal, the Chinese to come back, and all these things slowly one after another just didn't happen. So what we find ourselves in is a situation where people who launched condominium developments pre-COVID with pre-COVID pricing, pre-COVID demand, and didn't sell out, find themselves now priced out of the market as new developments have come on and been able to adjust to a new reality. We had a chance to speak with both Sapon and Griffiths after the seminar to get some more detailed comments on their presentations. So what we've seen, whether it's residential, whether it's retail, whether it's office, is a vast amount of supply come on that were just intended for a very hot market. Um, and that's come on uh, where a lot of supply is coming on at a time now where demand is, is very dampened. And that has put a, a downward pressure on rents, where in sale value, uh, and then you have other situations, the war in Russia, uh, inflation, means cash is now more expensive. So all of these pressures combined see us in a pretty subdued market um, at the moment. You know, uh, in any economy, when banks stop lending, there's a big issue, right? Um, and, and you all know that uh, we've gone through a quite a challenging period uh, since the pandemic and post-pandemics. But the good news is that uh, in, in, in Cambodia, bank continue its business, it continue to lend. And, and on the regulatory side, our National Bank of Cambodia, Cambodia have indeed introduced some of uh, the, uh, what I call is a, is a regulatory intervention that, uh, that, that, that does help the industry itself uh, to ensure that the industry have uh, sufficient liquidity to uh, uh, lend in, in the market. The overall health of the banking in in industry in Cambodia is still sound, right? Uh, although the non-performing loan creeping up a little bit, but it is still within the uh, manageable levels. The industry itself, if, if you look at all the in indicators, it should, uh, I don't see the, the, the alarm bell at, at the moment, uh, but I do see it, it, it's far challenging and, and we've gone through in the last couple of years. Even though we might see a, a better a better day coming, uh, light out at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I think 2024 is going to be painful. But for the residential um, sector, developers who are launching new projects can totally adjust to 
the the new environment, the new scenario. They can price their their projects um, very very competitively now. Uh, you see, the reason new is that Cambodia also as a country we put a lot of focus on the logistic infrastructures. That Excellency Sun, Sun Chantal mentioned the other day is that uh, the investment in this sector is around four, 40 billion, right? Which which will certainly spur the overall econo uh, economic growth of the country. We see that you know young populations, uh, uh, rising middle class, uh, um, as well as um, uh, uh, the opportunity on the digital fronts is is, is another thing that uh, we we continue to invest. Uh, on our digital capabilities so that we can reach to the market and to the, to the customer faster and more efficient. Hopefully tidier. Uh, it, it was a bit chaotic, I have to say. I think the influx of development from China um, just happened in such a tsunami. It wasn't a wave that it just caught everybody off guard. I mean, it, it caught... Sinopville of God, uh, no, nobody, the, the regu regulatory environment was sort of self-policed uh, and then just this massive investment just washed over and everything became quite loose. So it, it's it, it's an evolution and these things take time, but I think with, with every passing year, uh, every passing property cycle, things will get better and better here.